Hello everybody, this is Scott, and today I'll be uh, answering a question from Lega, a LEGO Legends question, which is, what is true damage? Okay, true damage is one of the things that uh, everybody complains about Aurelia. There is a joke that was always, nerf Aurelia. Aurelia is probably one of the most ridiculous champions in the game, according to Riot, because of the fact she has true damage. Let me try and draw you a sketch and this isn't going to work is it nope I hate you uh, let me try to elaborate you all know that there is defensive types you have your magic resist you have your you have your your magic resist you have your how do I put this sorry you have magic resist, you have physical damage. What does physical damage do? So if I hit you with a sword, my auto attack, your your physical defense, your physical defense PD is your shield. The shield will reduce a percentage of that damage. So the average one that I see is 50%. This is how much. So if I hit you for 600 damage, you take 300. Excluding external effects such as poisons and stuff then you have your uh, your magic so if I have this wand sorry if I have a wand and I'm all shooting fireballs and our maybe lightning and fireballs at the same time your sheet your uh, your magic resist your MR is your shield here this blocks generally around 30 percent is what I see with most players Okay. Then there, so and then we're gonna then our attack types. What are our attack types? We have our ability power, which increases the abilities of all your spell damage from your abilities, such as your if you're Teemo, it'll increase your your uh, your uh, what do you call it? Your poisons, your mushrooms. All of your abilities generally come from ability power if they're magic based. Then your physical attack will increase some of your regular abilities and will increase the damage of your auto attack. And then those cancels cancel with the defenses to calculate your total damage. Well then we have a third damage type known as true damage. And true damage is one of the very rare abilities that champions have in the game and that's because it's in theory completely ridiculous if played right. True damage says, okay, if I'm going to do 1,000 damage, that's an extreme amount for League of Legends, but let's say I do 1,000 damage of true damage. If he has 50% of physical defense and 30% magic resist, my true damage says, it doesn't matter, I'm doing 1,000 damage. True damage will always do what it says unless it's affected by skills such as ability power stupid dogs hey it is always able to override the defensive abilities that you gain from it so no matter how much defense I have no matter how hard I try the only way to get past true damage is to dodge the ability unless I can't dodge it and that's what it makes Aurelia ridiculous if her damage is true damage, how do I I can't protect against it. No matter what I do, I'm forced to take that much damage. Which is why there is so much like need for nerf of true damage and its potential is devastating because no matter how if you build completely defensively and you go against someone who has true damage, you have two options. You can either surrender or you can die. Because your defense matters, doesn't matter to them. The only counter to true damage is health. Health is your only counter to it. So if I come here and I'm just like you ha you did uh what do you we're just gonna say five hundred true damage five hundred true damage and I have 5,000 HP I'm not gonna feel it but when you have someone like Aurelia her skills refresh on a dime 
she's she just like bam skill 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 and she can continuously do that until someone's dead that's what a wire really is ridiculous and that's what makes true damage ridiculous so thank you very much for watching please stay tuned for another video if you have any questions please please feel free to ask them in the comments below and i will be back so see you later